Hello, it's amazing to see you today. Thank you for joining me for this video. Now, it's no secret that I suffer with acne and I also have rosacea, which has led to me developing these horrible, fine, little tiny thread veins across my cheeks. These are also known as spider veins and they are so annoying and they really make your complexion look ruddy and people kind of think that you're a whiskey drinker. So the device that I'm using today addresses a variety of different skin issues. These range from spots and scars to fine lines and wrinkles to freckles to those pesky little thread veins on the face. And that device is the Neat Cell Picosecond Laser. I have the Picosecond Red and I have the Picosecond Blue. The blue is stronger, it's the one that I tend to use a lot more. I've actually been using this to remove some of the old eyebrow tattoo that I had done years ago. It's residual darkness still there. This has really helped to get rid of nearly all of that now. But the blue light is also absorbed by those superficial red veins. It causes them to heat up. And then what that does is it creates thermocoagulation, which then causes those veins to kind of clot up inside and then fade away into nothing. So if you're going for a really clear complexion, like what I'm always aiming for, I will get there one day. But if you're after that kind of complexion, then this is something that could probably help. So when you first start with this device, you want to be using it between one to three times a week. And you do this for a good four weeks. So you're looking at a solid month of using this between once to three times per week. Now for me, being me, I do this three times a week. I always go for the maximum levels when it comes to the devices because my skin is so accustomed to all of these treatments now that I just kind of go for it and yeah it tends to work out on my favor as I always say everything that I'm doing it's what fits my skin it's what fits my routine and you might have completely different skin tone and texture and need completely different things for it now as I mentioned the blue picosecond is the professional version of the neat cell picosecond devices the red one is a lot weaker with that said it doesn't mean that it's any less dangerous if you get it in your eyes or you overexpose certain areas of the skin without moving it it can burn it can cause damage so these aren't toys they're not something to take lightly but then, as with all home devices, when you know how to use it and you take the right precautions, things become a lot safer. Now, when you buy these devices, you do get the goggles included. It's always recommended to wear the goggles or some form of eye protection that protects against laser light. This is recommended in both the instructions and by me, of course. With that said, I don't always use them. It just depends how close I'm intended on going to the eyes, but I should use them because even when I'm not intending on going near the eyes, it only takes for one false move and for me to scan across my eyeball and who knows what kind of visual issues I could cause. So I am going to practice what I preach and I am going to wear my goggles today. But the thing is that these are solid goggles. You can't see through them. So you're kind of just aiming and hoping, but you can feel where this laser is. Trust me, you can feel it. For this to work, once you've got it plugged in and turned on, you have to push the power button to activate the frequency with the blue pen. With the red one, it does it automatically on its own. It has a setting for that. With this one, it can only be activated by pushing it so that there's no accidental misfiring, that you're not going to be blinding someone else that could be sat in the room with you or accidentally firing it up in your eyes. And it's just a built-in safety feature. Now, there are nine output modes on this pen each one coming with a different wavelength and frequency. Now with the red light version of this, number one is the weakest level and number nine is the strongest level. Whereas with this version, the blue light version, number one is the strongest frequency and number nine is the lowest. So they're reversed, which is a little bit confusing and a little bit strange, but once you know the difference, it becomes easier. Now, if you have someone that can help you use the blue light one, then that is ideal because it allows you to do a more targeted treatment. It is designed for use in salons, but it also says in the instructions, if you have someone that can help you with the treatment or do the treatment and guide it across your skin whilst you wear the goggles, then that's also acceptable. But regardless of whether you use the blue laser or the red laser, they both work on melanin, they work on moles, they can work on acne scars, on lentigo or sunspots. They can help remove hyperpigmentation. They can get rid of eyebrow tattoos. They can also be used on fading and removing other tattoos that you have on your body as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give my skin a good treatment. It takes me around about 10 minutes to do a full face treatment with this. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be targeting those spider veins on my cheeks. I'm going to be giving my skin a complete swipe over to make sure that I'm getting rid of any bacteria that causes acne breakouts. 
I'm also going to be targeting any of the fine crow's feet that I've still got around here. I've almost completely got rid of them now. And then any areas where I have a little bit of redness or scarring, I'm also going to focus on that. I don't really have much in the way of freckles now that winter is here, so that's something really good for me. But I still have one or two that I want to get rid of as well. So let's take a closer look at how you set this up. Okay, so everything is set up and ready to go. So the first thing I need to do is place these goggles on. So I've got my super trendy goggles ready to go. Obviously I need to be able to see what I'm doing first. I'll slide the goggles down. I'm just really focusing where my spider veins tend to be now, which is around this area. You can really feel the heat. There's no burning, it's not uncomfortable. Okay, so now I've done that full face bit, what I really want to do is just target along the upper cheek area. So I'm just going to close my eye for this and I'm getting really close. So when you're doing this, you'll notice that it's kind of like a tingling feeling. Sometimes it feels a little bit like pinpricks running across your skin. That's the skin heating up underneath. Now when you're moving it across quite rapidly like the way that I'm using it, you're not getting any burning going on. There's no smoke pouring off the skin. There's no bad smells. But what it is doing is it's treating those spider veins. It's getting rid of those freckles. It's targeting that melanin. And it's kind of just giving you an overall better complexion. Let's take these off. Now it's important to remember that you don't want to hold it on any area that you're treating for more than one or two seconds. Anything longer than that is going to result in a burn. And if you're trying to get rid of a tattoo, yes, you want to get rid of that pigment that's been embedded into the skin, but you don't want to be causing burns because burns can increase the risk of infection, of scarring. So it's very much a slow process, but it's something that can be quite safe when it's done properly. It's been working really well. The only thing that really bugs me is the beeping noise, which is to 
let you and anyone around you know that there's a laser operating but it is so loud so now i've done that what i'm going to do is my skin will be left until tomorrow i won't really do anything to it there'll be no harsh scrubs or anything i'll use a low ph face wash tonight before i go to bed i'll apply my usual acne serums and creams and of course whenever i'm going out i'm applying sunscreen a minimum spf of 50 and with that, that's pretty much it for this video. So if you've got any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comment section down below or reach out to me on Facebook. Thank you so much for joining me for this video today. Have an amazing week ahead of you and I really look forward to seeing you in my next one. So till then, TJ over and out.